Hi guys, welcome back to another video on the Acer laptop. Today I'm going to be installing the HDD, or a hard drive. Um, one of the good things about these laptops is they come with lots of space for putting in extra like SSDs and hard drives and stuff. So today I'm going to put a new HDD drive in there. Um, when I bought it, it didn't actually have one in there, but it has got the slot for one. So I'm just going to put one in there today and I'm going to bring you guys along with me and show you how to do it. And all you need is a small Phillips screwdriver and that's it. So I'll get the back cover off and then uh, I'll show you where it goes. But first of all, just make sure it's all turned off and unplugged. You don't want it plugged in or anything. And then, yeah, we'll flip it around and we'll get the back off. They're all done. Now, if this is the first time you've ever taken the back cover off on these laptops, the first time they come off is pretty difficult because they're on quite well. And it, it will sound like you're gonna break it, but honestly, you kind of need to just pull the thing off. I usually, I usually go from the back first. Like so like then, now that I've had it off a couple of times, it comes off pretty easy, like that. Okay, so now we've got the cover off. Um, this is actually where the HDD drive goes, or the hard drive, or the 2.5 inch drive, really, whatever you want to call it. But this is one I've got here. Um, it's a 500 gigabyte one. Um, this is actually a spare one my brother had that he, he gave me. So I'm just going to put it in because I'm running out of space for all the videos and stuff I do. Um, you might also need the cable. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I'll put a link in the description for the cable and for a reasonably reasonably priced um, hard drive, and then you guys can have a look if you want one. But the main thing you need to know is it's 2.5 inch. That's the main thing you want to search for. Um, you can actually get upgraded SSD versions of these drives. Um, they are more expensive, um, but they are meant to perform better. Um, but honestly, I don't know if it's worthwhile because in these laptops, you've already got two SSD slots. These are the proper SSDs. So honestly, for me, I don't think it's worthwhile because I'm only gonna be storing videos on it. I don't need it to perform as, as well as these SSDs that have all my um, editing software and stuff on. So um, just a normal HDD drive is all I'm gonna go for. And um, yeah, so I need to take these little screws out and then plug it in here. But I'll uh, zoom the camera in so you guys can see it a bit better. Right, once they're off, this, this basically cover just holds it down. So take that off, grab the hard drive. It just sits nice and neat in there. And then we'll go put the cover back on. Okay, now that's done, all there is is to just plug this cable in and it just pushes down in here. What I'm going to do is I'll try to get the camera a little bit closer so you can see exactly where it goes. So it'll be nice and easy when you guys do it. All right, guys, here we go. So I'm going to try and do this the best I can to show you exactly what happens and how to do it. But you see this little piece here, this is where it goes. And this little lip that just lifts up like that. So you lift that up. And then you see this little tab on the back here. You pick that, you grab that like that, and then you push it right back, all the way. You see how the little collar there is all the way in. Push that in as far as you can. You don't have to push too hard, and then all you do is you clip it down. Like that. So there, that's as far as it goes. So look, I'll just lift it up so you can see one more time. So you see how these collars here or all the way in. 
So once that's pushed all the way in, then you just flick it down and that's it done. That, that's, it's not hard to do, it's just a bit fiddly. I'm sure you guys can do it. If I can, you guys, you guys can definitely do this. So yeah, so that's it done. Right guys, so after you've installed your hard drive, you might need to tell your laptop that you have installed it. It might not recognize it, but don't worry, it's pretty simple to just uh, tell it that it's installed. Um, mine's here showing up fine, but if yours isn't, all you need to do is go into your search bar, type in partitions, and then you'll see this little screen here. And you can see these blue ones, these are all allocated, so they're fine, but yours will have a black tab on it at the top here, and it will say unallocated. So I'm just going to use this one as an example. So right click on that, new simple volume, next. Um, this one here, just make sure it is the size that you've got. Uh, once you've done that, go on to the next stage, um, and this is just giving it a letter, a name. So give it whatever you want. I'll just leave it as D. Next, um, you can even put a name on it if you want, but for this I will just go next again, and then finish. So there we go, that's done. So now if you go back into PC, you can see it there. Right guys, all done and sorted. Um, I hope this video has helped you guys out. Um, if you got this far, I really appreciate it. Um, if you want to subscribe to the channel as well, then that's cool too. So um, like I usually say, until next time, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.